good afternoon everyone and welcome to a new video in this video i'm going to show you the temperature stability of uh, this machine that i'm using since almost three years the lit mara x so right now the temperature of the machine is 93.4 actually the temperature has uh, different settings on this machine it doesn't have a pid but it has uh, something called the thermostat and they call it like kind of a smart heat exchanger because it has on the side here on the side the panel there is uh, uh, like a switch that you can toggle between two modes of it the first mode that i'm always set to is the brew mode that is giving the priority to the espresso and the second mode if i press this one down it converts it into a normal heat exchanger means that it will act like a normal heat exchanger the heat will keep going up and down up and down and it will always be uh, on the upper side of the temperature not the lower side uh, and it's hard to regulate until you flush uh, water and uh, here because i'm set to the brew mode on the side uh, there is also another switch here that has only three settings that you choose from the middle settings is uh, if is the default settings of it and this sets it to 90 to 91 uh, celsius i'm set to the settings number one and this gives me uh, from 92 to 93 sometimes it's a little bit up or down uh, and the last one is 94 to 95 so i'm set to the middle one which is 90 uh, 2 to 93 and that's how we are right now 93.4 I turned on the machine like 30 minutes ago or 35 minutes ago I actually use a smart plug which is this one so I connect to it through my phone so I can turn it on while I'm work I'm at work and when I come back home I find the machine ready for me and as we speak right now it's set to the same temperature and uh, I'm going to prepare a pack of, uh, of uh, um, like a pack of espresso quickly to make uh, a milk this drink. And I'm going to show you uh, how the temperature is going to be through the extraction of the espresso. And then uh, how is it going to be when I brew, uh, I mean I steam the milk. As also you, for, for your information, right now the temperature of the machine is 93.2. It's like fluctuating like half a degree up and down uh, uh, in the set that that set temperature that i'm set to anyway and the bar of the steam is like uh, you can say uh, 0.75 bar or three over four bars okay so it's not even one bar but once i pull my shot the steam uh, boost will work on so it will go up to 1.5 bars that's how the system or how the software of the machine uh, is uh, programmed to work so when it's ready for espresso you will always see that the steam bar is below the one okay it means that the temperature is stable everything's fine with the machine and it's ready for you to pull the espresso shot once you pull the espresso shot the machine itself will get uh, to boost its steam power so it will go up to 1.5 bars uh, to get it to get uh, to get you ready to steam the milk and make your milk best drink that is in version one because this is version one in version two uh, what they have done is that the steam boost will not work on its own if you need it you have to lift the, the lever up and down so you tell the machine that you need to steam some milk so the steam boost will work if you don't do that the steam will, will stay on the same position so it can give you more ability to make more uh, espressos in the same temperature settings so i'm going quickly to prepare my pack and i'm going to grind these brazilian beans i'm gonna use the niche zero and i hope that the, the settings of uh, the grinds are correct so i finished grinding the beans and uh, i'm gonna quickly wipe the steam on the portafilter WDT and then quick tamping we are ready to go that's how it looks neat puck tamped properly and consistently so let's see the extraction I'm going to use this cup so I can make my best drink after that. So right now the temperature is 92 point or 93. It goes a little bit up while extracting and I'm setting the flow control to the the almost close position. Once I see that the, the coffee is starting to drip, I will turn on 
the flow control a little bit okay yeah now I'm turning it on a little bit slow so this was done using 19 I think I need to go to 22 next time and the temperature is 93.2 however the, the puck or the coffee is just dripping this is a very fine grind it needed to go a little bit uh, coarser I even forgot to tear the cup but anyway sometimes when you are capturing a video you get to be like confused a little bit with things and that's the temperature still stable at the same average between 92 and 93 and let's assume that this is the end of our shot so right now the temperature is 92 it goes a little bit down and then it goes up again to the same temperature we set to uh, and that's the shot and here is the steam it's up to two bars right now I'll quickly put the phone on the stand and I will try my best to show you the temperature I hope it really captures the temperature while I quickly clean the the puck actually it's, it cannot uh, can it okay you can, can see the temperature meanwhile I'll quickly remove this puck Get my milk ready. One of the good things about about putting everything together on the same side in the kitchen that you have to the sink so you can clean everything quickly like that. So I'm done cleaning my pack. Temperature is 90. I'm going to use uh, full fat milk. That's the milk I'm gonna use. It's called Almarai. It's very famous here in the Gulf area. And the temperature is 90 right now, 90.8. So I'm going to get the milk in the jug. Let's figure out what will happen when we steam the milk. Whether the temperature will go up or it will still. Uh, be at the same range of the 92 to 93. So right now it's 91. I'm going to actually I can remove uh, this one, put it aside so I can give some space for my hand to work on the steaming. The same idea of steaming the milk like that. Just touch it with my hand to see. Temperature is 91.2. And the steam is going down. It was almost two bars, now it's one bar. And the milk is getting to be steamed. It's steamed. Once I feel that my hand is getting to be burnt, I shut down the steam quickly. Here we go. So that is the temperature of the machine after steaming the milk 92 almost so let's quickly do some art and then look at the machine temperature after that again I'm bad at art but I'll try my best this time Sorry, didn't capture that on the camera, but this is it. So silky milky milk, looks nice, looks soft, silky, nice steam. And the temperature of the machine is around the 93 again. So this is Lilith Mara X version one, if you use it to make your milk based drink. I hope this video was useful to you. And I'll see you in next videos.